Will, you know how much I love your impressions. Okay. I've been saying it directly to you for weeks and weeks, yep. so it's reasonable to assume I've been sincere about that. In okay. fact, I even said I was being sincere many, many times. <laughs> Your astonishing Jesse Ventura impression is so incredible, and I love it so much. I have such strong feelings for it that I want to make it even better. If you could just help me out by doing your best, Jesse Ventura, during this segment, while you read through a short document I've supplied for you called the Impression Optimization Guide. This is Impression Optimization. Begin! Okay. All right. Hey. All in the hands of D. You're I, down with this? I don't know what the fuck it is, but uh, yes, of Dude, course. Dude, he seems down. like it wants to tune up your Ventura. You think uh, there's anything wrong with your Ventura? You think there's room for improvement? I, well, look, let, let me tell you something, Chad. I yeah. don't f even fancy myself an impressionist. What? That's not to disqualify <laughs> myself. Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, then what have you been doing? For, how long have we known each other? 15, Almost, 20 yeah, years, yeah, something, something like, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many impressions have I heard you do over the course of that time? And you don't think you're an impressionist? I don't think I'm as good as some people out there who are fucking amazing at doing pinpoint impressions. I will say that uh, I think my Jesse Ventura sounds like Jesse Ventura. I do too. Yeah. But I do. But okay, look here. And this is the thing. And, I, and I've been saying this since the first fucking episode. And here we are 81 episodes later or whatever. Right. Uh, like I do the impressions I do impressions like, okay, well, here's how I do this. I don't necessarily go off and study them like I used to. Like, sure. I, you know, when I used to be on, on uh, mad TV, I would, of course, you know, you, you do them. And at this point it's like, well, here's the ones I like to do. I mean, we're yeah. fucking around. It's two dudes shitting around. Sure. Dudesy thinks that I should. Optimize maybe this... your Ventura. I yeah. guess. All, All right. right. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay. So this is fucking hilarious. There's a, look at this. Optimization. Yeah. Uh, impression optimization guide, Jesse Ventura. <clears throat> Please read every word on this page in, in order while doing your best Jesse Ventura impression. This says baseline. And it's just, I'm going to read this. All right. <clears throat> One, <laughs> seven, three. Six sleek swans swiftly swarm southward Sunday. <laughs> well, I think you fucked it up. That one word is swam, not swarm. Swarm, swam. So you've already, you've already fucked already, up the baseline. I've already fucked up the, yeah. Okay. All right. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's see what a nine, nine, <laughs> two. Brisk, brave brigadiers brandished broad, bright blades. I dig it. I like it's actually it see this is what I'm saying. And it's this like is Blade why, Runner, dude. And well, D, Dudesy and I, yeah. We're in simpatico that way. I feel like we we get each other yeah. and maybe I should okay. 808 Fred Fed Ted Reds Dead Dad's Bread. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay, so this you're one's calibrated now. Yeah. M okay. Musicality. Oh, geez. Please sing these portions of well-known songs to the best of your ability as Jesse Ventura. Great. This is Oasis Wonderwall. <clears throat> because maybe <laughs> you're going to be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder wall. <laughs> Uh, Cheryl Crow, if it makes you happy, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. If it makes you happy, I don't even need to read this. I love this song. Then why the hell are you so sad? Great. Oh, this, this one needs no introduction, yeah. even though dudes, he told me to read everything on the page. Someday somebody's going to make you want to turn around and say goodbye. Until then, baby, are you going to let them hold you down and make you cry? Don't you know? Don't you know? <laughs> things can change. Things will go your way. If you hold on for one more day. Wilson Phillips, hold on. Yeah, dude. That was a great Fine tuning song. phraseology. Oh. Please say, well, why don't you tell me in tones described below? Angry. Well, why don't you tell me? Solid, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, sad. Well, why don't you tell me? 
<laughs> Annoyed at yourself because you forgot to buy paper towels at the grocery store for the second time in a week. Well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> Curious. Well, why don't you tell me? That sounded just like Rip Torn. Okay. See, now I, I understand why dudes are yes, doing this. Dudes, yeah, they yeah. need you to fine tune. You got to hit these very specific yeah. marks. Uh, pissy. Well, why don't you tell me? That's He's a always bit like your angry one. Yeah. Uh, overly friendly. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> Explaining the concept of death to your child for the first time. <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? This perfect. is fucking insane. Welcoming a family of four to your restaurant. <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? A, mo a morning zoo host giving a prize to a listener from Minneapolis because they were the 97th caller to use the phrase that pays, which is, who? <laughs> Well, why don't you tell me? Okay. A morning zoo host giving a prize to a listener from Minneapolis because they were the 97th caller to use the phrase that pays, which is, well, why don't you tell me? Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> okay. Impression squared. Oh, boy. This is fucked up. Do right. these impressions as Jesse Ventura. Okay. Number one, Mar Marv Albert. An impression that I feel like a lot of people have is a pocket impression. You know? Really? I do. Yeah. Marv Albert is, yes, and Jordan from the baseline, yes. Yeah. You know, so this is Jesse Ventura doing Marv Albert. Yeah. Jordan, Jordan from the baseline, yes. Yeah. It sounds, you know That's what it hard. sounds like? Yeah. Yeah. That's it's hard weird. to do. It sounds like Bill Walton. When okay. you cross Marv Albert and Jesse Ventura, it's Bill Walton. Bill Walton. I'm Bill Walton. Hey, Magic, there's Isaiah Thomas. I'm Jesse Van Walton. <laughs> I don't Your know good about friend this one, Isaiah. I don't know if you're hitting the mark. Go though. give him a hug and squeeze his tushy. He oh. would say that on the air, all the Jesus. stuff like that. Really, really ribbled stuff. Yep. Let's move on. Please. Uh, number two, Jay Leno. <laughs> Jesse Ventura is Jay Leno. Oh, jeez. I have a... Because Jay, Jay Leno yeah. says, hey, we got this guy. Hey, you got it up here. So you got to go. Hey, it sounds like Rip Torn again. I right, mean, that's, that's not what a good one. Rip uh, Torn is the basis. Hey, of tonight on the show. Hey. Hey, sorry, Conan O'Brien. Hey, what's Conan O'Brien? What's Conan O'Brien? Why is. What? What? Why is Conan O'Brien complaining? Hey! Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, that's hard. Number three, Marlon Brando, which is, somebody's going to betray you. I know. It's this, right? Yeah. It's the scratching of the face. You just do the, yeah, you got to scratch your face. Yeah. Why don't, why don't you tell me that you come to me on this day, on this special day, you ask me for, you ask me for a favor. You come to me on this special day and you ask me for the favor. It turns <laughs> into Schwarzenegger. I heard him coming out. I heard yeah. Schwarzenegger creeping okay, so out. That, okay, that scrambled my brain. Situational awareness. Oh. Please do a brief improvisational monologue as Jesse Ventura in the following situations. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Ordering a meatball sub at Subway and learning they're out of provolone cheese. Well, <laughs> isn't that a fucking kick in the balls? <laughs> I mean, why? What? Who? Who <laughs> orders a meatball sub? Why don't you tell me? You, you're a patriot. You've been here working uh, your butt off all day, and all I'm doing is coming in to ask for a meatball sub. Now I know it's not your fault that there's no provolone cheese here, but I'm sure you would agree that uh, Munster Jack or Swiss just ain't gonna cut it. W would you like me to go off and uh, find my own provolone <laughs> cheese and bring it back? You know, that's hard work you're doing. Not as hard sure. as when I was uh, working for the city at 18 years old, running an 80 pound jackhammer. Is that true? That is true, actually. Wow. Uh, getting in an argument with your neighbor's parrot <laughs> who won't stop repeating the phrase, Polly wants a pecker. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Well, listen, you know, if you're just going to repeat the same thing over and over again, don't have it be Polly want a pecker. First of all, it's filthy to say that, and you don't know who's coming into this house. And all you say is Polly want a pecker. Maybe yeah. if I talk in front of you for long enough, you'll start to sound like me. Yeah. And I know what you're going to say, Polly. You're going to say Polly want a pecker in a parrot voice. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, say some of the things that I say. Sure. Like, I'm from the Baja. I live in, I live, <laughs> don't even live in the continental United States <laughs> six months out of the year. What say you? Why don't you try that? All right. Anyway, the, number three, waking up in a movie theater after sleeping through most of the movie and asking the person next to you to explain everything you missed. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. Can you imagine being in a movie theater next to Jesse Ventura who's just snoring next to you and then yeah. he wakes up and. Goes well, you a, wouldn't want to wake him up because it's Jesse Ventura. Yeah. And then he would probably uh, say something like, Excuse me, friend, I don't want to interrupt your movie going experience, but. Uh, what 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 part did I. How come they're in the ocean now and before they were in an office building? <laughs> am I the friend? Am I getting this too? Yeah, you want to be the friend? Okay. Uh, there, that's a lot to explain. I mean, yeah. Well, I was asleep for forty, yeah, forty-five minutes. Okay, yeah. That's gonna be what you're gonna need to do is probably Who's just rewatch the girl the in the sweater. Why is the girl in the sweater there underneath the water and she's wet? But now when she gets up and she's at the beach, she's all dry, even though it was just a minute ago. Is the San Andreas we're watching? Well, that's the Rock's daughter. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the Rock. He's trying to save her, but you need to understand there was a big earthquake that happened that really destroyed the city. How, in what fucking world is Alexandria Daddario <laughs> the Rock's daughter? That makes no sense. And finally, uh, on the fifth day of a... T oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, all right. This is what D wanted. On the... Brief improvisational monologue is Jesse Ventura in this situation. Yeah. On the fifth day of a 10-day transformation into a spider. <laughs> well, this is a bit of a pickle I've got myself into. Sure, there's pros and there's cons and in that i know that it's a a 10-day transformation <laughs> he's still five days left <laughs> i've still got almost a week left yeah. before my metamorphosis into a spider is complete right. one thing i really enjoy doing is being able to walk on the water oh nice yeah because do you have your spinnerets yet what no what are spinnerets that's the little organelles that um, spiders used to make their webs. Oh, yes, of course. I'm a spider. I can make a web. I didn't even know that I was doing that. I thought that I was <laughs> taking a little shit every time that I, uh, yeah. you know, I'm an arachnid. I'm an arachnid now. And I, I, I didn't know that I had uh, organettes. Uh, I, I don't have never even heard the word organettes. That sounds <laughs> it's like spinnerets. Spinnerets, yes, sounds yeah. like something to be covered in chocolate that you buy at the movie theater. I'm just fucking around. Hey, when I was in the seals, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> Wait, well, I, I had to. I got to say, I don't care about when you're in the seals. You're turning into a spider, right? I'm in turning front of my into eyes. a spider. <laughs> that's, that's and I don't need to, to hold my breath underwater. I'm yeah. not even so long as I'm not aware of how my organs work even my organettes like spinnerets sure i'm not as concerned with it but i will tell you this when i finish becoming a spider <laughs> oh what a web i will weave in mexico i'll be the first spider ever because they're loose with their laws down there they don't have as many uh restrictions on the citizens so if i want to uh -huh. build a web that's got a, a you know sort of a terrace front that i'd like you know close yeah. to the ocean which here you wouldn't even be able to city inspection would come in and say zoning nope. laws yeah zoning laws you're too yeah. close to the ocean but in the baja i've got a beautiful web that i shat out of my spinneret myself with a lovely terrace i've got terracotta pavers and i've yeah. got a silo full of full of dead flies <laughs> that i can eat whenever i want <laughs> Nice. And I still command a, a, a group of dogs that are that yeah. I've raised on my own, but they're little spider dogs. Gee whiz, I don't know. That was great, dude. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think it went well. 
Thank you. Moving on. Well, holy shit.